Like the later movies of the Showa era, Gamera cannot get away from these damn aliens. But there is a positive. Gamera got some help from the Self-Defense Force. I'm Demetrius and welcome to the Bermakian Podcast. This is an episode of review series where I can interview anything but not everything. That includes monster movies, both big and small, anime and video games. This week is Gamera 2, Attack of Legion. Like before, there is a lack of information and background regarding this film. So, like before, this is my version of events, with some of the things that are actually true. Gamera Guardian of the Universe, when it premiered in early 1995, earned over 520 million yen, which is about 6 million US, meaning it was a massive success. Positive reviews came in droves. Even film critic Roger Ebert gave the film a thumbs up. You'll be hearing that name in the next review, trust me. Not only did Guardian of the Universe earn its positive praise, but it also won some awards, such as Best Supporting Actress, Best Director, Best Screenplay, and Best Technical, which would be Best Special Effects. And Gamera himself was marking out, and he started to celebrate with some friends. Even Godzilla attended his party to congratulate him, and then the two of them got shit-faced. Immediate, immediately afterwards, Daiei Studios approved the sequel and production began in late 1995. A few months later, Gamera 2 Attack of Legion was released in Japan on July 31st, 1996, and here is his plot synopsis according to IMDb. Omega is making me reading it, so I shall do such. A meteor lands in Japan and unleashes hundreds of insect-like legion creatures bent on colonize, colonizing the earth. Excuse me. Gamera shows up, with the self-defense force obviously, to deal with the ever-evolving space adversary, but the battle may result in him losing his bond with humanity. Ooh, the epic foreshadow. <laughs> It's not as good as Guardian of the Universe, but it's not terrible either. Let me explain. As a Christian man, I do like the symbolism of Christianity. 
And I do like the idea of a monster named from the Bible. It even mentioned the verse where it said, And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. Although in today's standards, it would be in a different verse. However, that doesn't save the fact that unlike Guardian of the Universe, the new set of characters here are nothing to write home about. Sure, we get some returning characters from the previous, well, one cameo and another legit return. They don't do all that much here. And I must say, does Japan have an efficiency of showing off their self-defense force? Although in saying that, this wouldn't be the first or last time this will be the case. The anime series Gate Anyone? But in that show, they did mention that fighting giant monsters is all that they're known for. And speaking of monsters, I like Genra's updated design here, more than the previous. Though, the sea turtle-like arms when he flies are a bit ridiculous. The Legion, though, are far from ridiculous. If there's one thing the Genra series, Genra series excuse me, is best known for is having some great enemy monster designs, and this one is no different. The Queen Legion especially looks fantastic. The special effects here somehow have topped the effects from the previous film, though the CG does look complete jank. While I'm not a fan of it, I do like the soundtrack. My favorite one is when Gamera and the Queen Legion are battling out on the airfield. Overall, Gamera 2 Attack of Legion is another solid entry in the franchise. The issues that I mentioned did hurt my enjoyment a little bit, but not by much. Like the previous, I enjoyed the hell out of it. But here's another film that I will not be enjoying the hell out of. <sighs> oh boy, there's no avoiding this one. Y'all know what it is. Until then, thank you all for watching slash listening. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more of the Brumacian Podcast. This has been Demetrius signing off, and long live the turtle.